My name's Paul Hewitt, the General Manager of Aston Martin Queensland. Today is a pivotal moment in the future and the past of Aston Martin. A tipping point, the beginning of our second century plan. The most important period in Aston Martin's history, the reveal of the DB11, the global press car. This is the beginning of the second century plan. We're looking at the DB lineage here. What is DB? It's a brand within a brand. The important lineage of cars within Aston Martin. So who is DB, what is DB and why is it important? DB is the moniker, the name that followed the owner of the business who acquired the company in 1947, David Brown, hence DB. We are 102 years old. Let's skip to 1947. David Brown purchased Aston Martin to build it into a global recognised brand. The DB series of cars, starting with DB1. DB1 was a racing car to prove the credentials of the brand which then evolved into the world's most glamorous touring cars for the super wealthy around the world. DB2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are all iconic cars. The Super GT is the most glamorous of the set. Probably culminating in terms of awareness with DB5. The car used, of course, for the James Bond movie, Goldfinger. We go forward to DB7, a very modern contemporary car in the 90s. Super powerful in its V12 Vantage form. Superseded in 2004 with DB9 the best touring car in the world till now. So how do we replace it? Well, it has to be something special. We replace it with this. So what are the headline features of DB11? It has to be different, and it is. There isn't a single component carried over for DB9 into the new DB11. It's different in every way, but it's a true DB and it's a true Aston Martin. Let's go through some of the headline features in the car. A 5.2 twin turbo V12. For the first time, a twin turbo engine as opposed to our naturally aspirated six litre cars from the past. So more fuel efficient, more powerful, 600 horsepower and 700 newton metres of torque at 1500 RPM. So idling at 1,000 RPM, 500 RPM later, full torque delivery. A phenomenal performance in the engine. Transmission, we've now gone to the eight-speed ZF gearbox that we've used in Vanquish, so mated to this 5.2 twin turbo engine. But there's other technologies in the car that are unique, not only to DB11, but to Aston Martin, and actually to the world. We're using air technology in a different way. We have air blade technology in the DB11, using air, forcing it through the car, which I can show you through where, in the floating roof arches of the car, through the air blade at the back of the car. We've created the Holy Grail, an invisible spoiler, creating downforce, but without drag. So downforce without drag is something that everybody's been looking for throughout the history of motorsport from Formula One into road cars. We're the only company to create it. The looks of the car are really exaggerated in terms of overall width of the car and that's largely to do with this fabulous clamshell bonnet. The biggest piece of aluminium in automotive history on one car. So the outside of the car as you've seen, fundamentally different to what we've done before but instantly recognisable as an Aston Martin. What about the inside of the car? One of the things that we wanted to do was create the TARDIS effect, a far bigger interior than we've had before, but in the footprint of the previous size of car. And it's a lot bigger in here, a lot bigger both in the front, but also in the back. Instantly recognisable on the interior in terms of the craftsmanship and bespoke nature of each of these cars. It is a stunning car to be able to create each one with their owner. It's a lot of fun to be able to look at each inlay, each leather choices that you have to make with the technology that we've got. It's a really phenomenal level of quality. Again, uh, improved, but from a high base. So we're very, very pleased with the way DB11 is taking the whole bespoke nature of Aston Martin forward into our second century.